Yes, so they say the Oloris have two more up to say that they want to tell Naomi the truth. That if they keep quiet, that is not going to be better for them. Because why? A lot of people will team them as Mushi Mushi when the thing happen at the end of the day. That they want to come out and tell Naomi the truth. Yeah, that a crook cannot be better than his master because the master learns every day. Ah, ah. It is the person that step on the sheet that feels it. Not the one that shout, waiting happen. Hmm. Right now, like this, eh? the old low risk, oh, they say they are tired. That people are accusing them. As a matter of that, as a matter of fact, eh? that people are even calling them wishy wishy for what they know nothing about. That's what they want to tell Naomi is that uh, Naomi star is being used. That only oh, is using Naomi star for stability. That if they think they are lying, that they should go and make inquiries. Yes, that they should go and make inquiries. They should go to Ekiti. They should go to Ogun State. They should go to any other state and go and ask if they use people star for inquiries. You will see some men that will keep some women. You will be asking yourself, why is this man keeping this woman? They are using the woman staff for stability. Go and ask. Kogi State people know this particular matter very well. I wonder why some people are so naive to this thing. Some people will be like, it's a lie. It doesn't happen. My brother, it happens. People use people stars. And that is why the Oloris have come and said that them, they are tired of lying. Yes. That they are tired of lying. They are tired of holding the truth. That Oni is using Naomi staff for stability. And what they do is that they were even trying to explain it. But at the end of the day, some people were saying it that they are doing it so that Naomi will not come back to the palace. They said then they are telling Naomi. If they, if they are the ones, they would have left too. But just that they are not the ones. What happened is they will use one person. They will sacrifice one person for the rest people. That is how it's done. And it's that person that the man loved very well. They will now use the person's star and stabilize for the other people. How this happen is, it's Naomi that is bringing the glory. It's Naomi that is bringing the star. So they will keep Naomi in bondage. Why the other people will be the ones that are enjoying the money. I don't know if you guys understand. These other people will be the ones enjoying the money. They will be the ones enjoying the favor. And if you look at it very well, eh, it's not too far from the truth. It's not far from the truth. So my brothers, my sisters, oh, things are really, really happening. You know? <laughs> the Oloris are now like... They are the ones people are calling bad people in the palace. Meanwhile, they are not even the bad people. Now, wow. Don't be smart, you know. Hmm. That Naomi should check very, very well. That there was a time her hair was cut. She should ask, how did the hair cut? Who used the hair? Hmm. Now, wow. How did they know this thing? That there was a time that somebody was sitting on Naomi's head in Naomi's dream. That Naomi should go and ask very, very well. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Naomi said there was a time to, to, she didn't even notice. It was when she went, that time she was still in Kabi's sister. She was still married. Tade was young. It was when Simi came to the house and they were losing her head. Simi was like, ah, uh ah. -uh. Who caught your hair? She now looked at the mirror. She was like, ah, uh ah. -uh. Now, when she actually woke up from school, that, that place was scratching her. But she did not see all that, though. No be small thing, no. Hmm. Yes, so, my correct, correct people. Hmm. That the enemies have been using Naomi since in the palace. That it's just that Naomi is saying it's not possible, it's not possible, it's not possible. That they've used Naomi destiny, that this is an eye-opener. And the person that is using Naomi's destiny is the person that does not want Naomi to go. So, the Oloris are saying that two things are involved right now. Number one, he said that Naomi go and go with nothing. Or number two, let her come back to the house. Since it is her destiny they are using, let her come and sit down and be eating. I don't understand why Naomi should come back to the house and come and share her destiny with you people. No, she cannot come. She is a daughter of Zion. If she goes to the mountain, she, she will pray herself out. There is nothing that she, there is nothing prayer cannot do. In every circumstance, bit by bit, she will get her destiny back. But one thing me, I know that karma, whether good or bad, karma will come and it will visit the perspective. It will visit anybody that have hand in this Naomi's matter because this is another thing. This is another thing. They say that is why Naomi is always having this intense connection with the palace. That is why she always wants to come to the palace. Her body will be shaking now. Oh, let me go to the palace. Oh, oh what is happening right now? No, that Naomi's 
path has been crossed. That Naomi is not actively doing what she's supposed to do because why? Naomi is, hey God, they, this person say things. Oh, these people really say things. That Naomi should ask herself when she left, why is it that she wanted to come back? That that coming back was not because of Naomi love Kabi AC like that, but it was because of what is pushing Naomi. That any time Naomi step leg into the palace, they must use her destiny. So all that time she was coming, she'll come and stay with Kabi AC. They will use some more and renew. They will use some more and renew. And it's for the stability of Kabi AC. That if Naomi thinks they are lying, that Naomi should go to Ifa Prince and go and, and, go and ask. That day she is being controlled. And that's why I see that she's losing focus. She's losing control. Anything she was thinking, hey, let me come to KBAC. She was not, she will not. That all those things, with all the things KBAC have done to her, that normally somebody would have said, I'm not doing again. But Naomi is trying to give KBAC a third chance, a fourth chance. But me, I'm, I'm believing these things small. But at the same time, I'm still saying that you see this Oloris. They might actually be saying this thing for Naomi not to come back to the palace because even themselves, they have their own. Even themselves, they have their own. Maybe they are saying all this thing for Naomi to be angry or Naomi to be afraid. Then Naomi will say she's not coming to the palace again because we will not last last. Naomi and Kabi AC will marry you. Yes! Naomi and Kabi AC will marry. It's their destiny that brought them together. It's not their fault. And when Naomi and Kabi AC will marry, I bet you guys, a whole lot of people will be jealous. They will not see this coming. They will know that, yes, it's God that have planted Naomi and Kabi AC together. It's God that will hold Naomi's hand that time. If God has been holding Naomi's hand, even this one too will come to pass. That's why the Bible says, this too shall come to pass and it shall come to pass. If you guys know, you know. My brothers, my sisters, I say, ah, ah, what is these people's problem? Anyway, now Naomi seems not to believe it, but Naomi's mother believe it too. Naomi's mother says she believe everything because you see these people in the palace, they can do and undo. And Naomi is still thinking they are joking. It's not everything you think they are joking. No. You that are thinking they are joking, some people are not joking with your destiny. They are playing tentel with your destiny. So the earlier you come out and tell yourself, I will not allow anybody to play tentel with my destiny, the better for you because the tentel these people are playing with Naomi's destiny is too much. But guess what? We know the God we serve. The I am that I am. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The God that will come true for Naomi when the time is ripe. And I know that the time will still be ripe very, very soon. You guys know now. This Oloriso, Naomi, my own is that anything these women are saying, don't play with it. Somehow they are giving us some valuable information just for you to work on it, act on it, and at the same time, set your boundaries with those in the palace. If you know, you know. So guys, that is all the information right now. See you guys later. Do wait to subscribe, like, comment, and bye for now.